It has now been 31 years that I've been on this planet. What is going on, you guys? Um, salutations, greetings. Hello. Welcome to the Sakurai clan or the uh, Master Real Sakurai channel. I know I've never, I've never really said that out loud. I've always said, uh, welcome to the Sakurai clan and, you know, and it, you know, it really just, I'm sorry. It's a, it took me a, a minute to, to just to think all, about all of this. Cause I wanted to do this video, um, right before the day of my birth, um, came around and, and during and upon this recording it will be august 21st uh but um i've had a lot to think about i've had a lot to um reminisce remember and really just appreciate the fact that i am still alive despite some of my failures, despite some of my um, moments of either miscommunication, assumptions, and doubtfulness about myself, I am still able to bounce back. I'm still able to have a place where I can gather my thoughts where I can speak on how I feel without being toxic, without being negative. There, there, there have been so many thoughts in my head. Because as I've always said before, this started out as just, you know, a, a channel where I can just do that. But it's become more than that, obviously. Obviously, it has become more than that. Um, thanks to you guys, too. Because I didn't even... I, I, I was sure I wasn't gonna, probably going to get, you know, the kind of people that I get on my videos. Commenting almost every day. No matter what the video was about. Wanting me to talk about certain things and... Me being baffled that you guys even want me to, to um want me to talk about them, you know. But um, there's something I had to realize, and I realized it a couple of days ago, and my sister had pointed it out to me. In her eyes, I'm not gloating, and I, I'm I'm not I'm not bragging or anything. Don't please don't think that I'm doing that. In her eyes. I'm somewhat of, of a, a, somewhat of a celebrity, apparently. And I don't even be seeing myself doing the stuff because I just, I just express my, I've gotten to the point where I have literally made a platform for me just to express myself, whether it be this channel, Instagram, Twitter. I've become so much more talkative and able to share my thoughts compared to 2018 Rio. It wasn't even real before uh, at that point. I was just Joseph compared to high school Joseph, compared to elementary school Joseph, compared to all those other Josephs. I have somewhat, and yet at the same time, changed, but stayed the same, if that makes sense. I didn't change because of other people. I changed because I wanted to. And yet, I'm not going to lie, there are some moments where I just keep to myself. There are, there are some moments where I have my introvert moments of the plenty you know but it's not as often 
it's not as regular it's not and the reason why i say celebrities because there are people that are friends with her that watch my videos that watch my content and are just dying to see me not well not dying to see me but really wanting to 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 meet me and it's just like what have i gotten to that point where there are there are people around who are wanting to 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 meet me even though i don't really talk much about you know stuff on this channel that's gonna change very soon um wow i i, and I told her I, I i'm speechless i'm literally speechless because in my in my head i don't really I, th 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 this is a prime example that you know that i stay to myself that, that you know that i'm in my own little world and no one else is uh is around uh, from from what i see no one else is even worried about me right and this is just another moment where yeah you're wrong people people care about what you say people listen to you and it's just i i really did have a moment because there i'm not trying to get emotional or like be that person but that i can't help but just keep remembering back in those times where I was trying so fucking hard to not be the person that I am today. And not because I was ashamed of it, but because, or because I didn't want to be it. Oh, contrary, I wanted to, I want, I wanted to still enjoy the stuff I want to enjoy, right? You know what I'm saying? But because of peer pressure, because of the people around me, telling me that i need to do this i need to do that right i need to go into the military i need to go to college i need to do this do that do this do that and now i have a job where i'm finally getting paid the 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 uh the amount that i work hard of um i will work hard for I have moments where I don't stutter. In fact, I don't hardly stutter at all now. Back when I was young, that was a prominent thing with me. Because I was so afraid someone was going to cut me off. Someone's going to tell me to shut up. That you don't want to, uh, like, they don't want to hear what I have to say. And it's so, it's so heartwarming and relieving to me to know that that is not what this is anymore those days are over for me and that's honestly the biggest challenge that i have to overcome is to know the fact that that is not what what your life is anymore no one's gonna judge you because you talk differently no one's gonna alienate you or immediately dismiss you because you you don't want to disappoint anyone because of how you talk yeah like you don't have to rush yourself into saying what you have to say no you can you can take your time and say things so uh, because no one else is gonna cut you off no one's gonna tell you that don't know why they want to hear that that was that happened to me back in middle school and elementary school from kids that honestly i ain't gonna lie their lives are no better because they fell into that whole trope of like being out in the streets and doing uh, and 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 on uh, and shit like they fell for that trope i didn't but the, but the problem was back then i was trying to be like them because it's it's the normal thing 
is 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 what everybody else is doing. So just fit in, right? And that didn't last. It didn't. Once I got into high school, I want to say high school, I noticed that I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that. There were other people who talked differently than me. Yeah, sure, they weren't the the popular people. They weren't the people that were getting that were getting, you know, the sex. They weren't the people that were, you know, trying to be cool and you know, smoke weed and all this other stuff. They weren't the people that were doing that. But I'll tell you one thing. They were the people who were going places. They were the people who, even if they weren't going places, they had ideas. And they had hobbies. And despite all of that, they had good hearts. Despite what people were telling me about them. And I stuck around those people. And I'm glad that I have friends who are those people to this very day. I'm glad I'm not dealing with anyone that's like that. And if you think I'm talking about you, well, guess what? Oh, well, who cares? That's another thing. To the people who really got upset that I had made videos talking about situations, dealing with them, but I didn't say or mention them in the video, but then still got mad and decided to just DM me talking about how wrong I was. Y'all can kiss my ass. Or better yet, I meet I'm um I hang out with them and then they bring up the same I bring up that shit. Or they bring up anything about my videos and whatnot and now I don't hang out with them anymore. Guess what? Y'all can kiss my ass. It wasn't really that big of a deal at the time, but now that I think about it, that was some, that was some dumb ass shit. And I don't care if anyone takes that the wrong way. I don't care because I don't even, I don't even mess with you anyway. So why should I, why should I be worried? Why should I feel some type of way? Continue to stay over there. Don't come over here because there ain't, ain't nothing for you. And I don't have time for you at all. At all. Whether it be family members or acquaintances. I don't have time for you. Sorry. Well, not sorry. I'm not, because I'm really not. But yeah, it has been a long time coming. I am now 31 years old and a part of me wanted to feel guilty that it's taken me this long to, you know, undo the, the, the damage that was done to me as a kid. But honestly, no, I'm not, I'm not ashamed at all. I already knew that it was going to take time for me to get over certain things. I already knew that it was going to take time for me to undo the damage, the depression, the self-hatred that I put on myself because of the people around me, because I was around people around me. And more so, fuck it, since we're talking about it, I'm just going to say it right now. The women who I wanted in, in my life but gave me the cold shoulder. Because I was trying to build something. I wanted at least a girlfriend. I wanted, you know, what everyone else had. Which really wasn't much. Because everybody else is not really doing that that, that good. It, even if they don't have a girlfriend. Or even if they do have a girlfriend. I wasn't missing out on nothing. I realize that now. I realize that now. So do all the people... Well, not not the people, the women that have been in my life that don't see me anymore, that don't hear from me anymore, guess what? I don't feel sorry. I don't I don't feel sorry. Because there's a reason why that ended the way it did for each of you. There's a reason, and it's not even my fault. I look back at all of at all of the ones that I had 
indulged all the ones that I had listened to all the ones that I took the time to have conversations with and stuff like that and there were some things that I let slide because I didn't want to start an argument but I already knew that it wasn't gonna last long so to those women that are probably low-key watching my stuff but don't hear from me anymore you know why and it's not because of me it was because according to you I wanted too much which really wasn't a lot just for you to look at me as the same you would look at the guy that hurt you that you love so much that you probably still love so much for some of you still keep in contact with even though that doesn't make any sense but hey to each his own you want to feel pain go ahead and feel pain i'm not gonna worry about it and no i'm not bringing out no names because they're not worth it i don't care and don't dm me either talking about some uh, on some bullshit because i don't care about that either i don't I'm sorry, I, I, I don't mean to ramble, but it, a lot of this has been on my mind since this day has been coming, okay? So if, if, if it's, you know, you think this video is all over the place, it is. I'm just getting some of this stuff off my chest. Again, because that my mind is like that. I, I think about things and then I have to, I have to say it. Because if I don't, it's going to eat me alive. Figuratively. But, um, another thing, I know I, I had already made a video talking about that to the people who keep giving me comments about, oh, you're, oh, you're, you're Dragon Balls, you're, you're Dragon Ball super fan, oh, you're butthurt, all that. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Seriously. Y'all really think I am worried about one video. Or the opinions of sheep that watch a channel that's literal dog. I'm sorry, it's the it's little dog shit. I'm sorry, you don't want to hear that. It is because they literally just go based upon everyone's nostalgia and fan and, and and fan favorites. That's literally what this is. So I don't know why people keep. You know, trying to come at other people having different opinions. So what if they're Dragon Ball fans? So what? What is that to you? Other than a, a means to just try and troll somebody. Because you feel like you can. And, and, and the thing about it is, it's motherfuckers that don't even have their profile pic. So why the fuck should I take you seriously? Removed. Remove comment. Because I, I, I've been doing that lately. I've been doing that for a whole month. Removing all those comments. I'm not even going to battle back anymore. I'm just going to remove it. Whenever I see a dumbass comment like that, you know, hating on somebody or at least or trying to spread hate, I'm not, I'm not even going I'm, I'm not even going to indulge. Delete. Bye. I don't have time for that. Another thing is that, you know, someone in the comments saying, wow, you really just, uh, it was a while ago that this happened. It wasn't recent. Um, said, wow, you really, I don't like, what is wrong with you? And I'm not trying to be this big YouTuber on here. I don't know if anyone's noticed. I am an African American man. Most of us don't really have a huge subscriber count. And one of them is Corey Kenshin, who has the highest one, to my knowledge. The second one comes in with Tyrone Magnus. The third one comes in with uh, um, Echomog Media Group. Notice how there's only those three that are really big in my head. There should be more than that. But YouTube doesn't do that. YouTube's not going to do that. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and pursue that. Because that wasn't the goal anyway. The goal 
on here was to build a community where everyone can just talk and fan out about their favorite shows without being toxic without having to say oh oh could it could it because that that person be goku or you know could that whatever be whatever mm -mm. you notice how you don't have that on you don't see that on this channel aside from the death battle videos which i just give my own two piece my own two cents and then that's it and I just move on to the next best thing. Notice how, notice how I just move on to to the uh, another thing that's just variety on this channel because I don't, I never really wanted to have more than just one thing. But then when I thought about it, I was like, well, Pokemon really isn't, you know, that big for me anymore. Let me explore different shit. Let, let me let me post different stuff that I like, like Power Rangers, like Common Rider, like Digimon. You know, I still gotta do the ultimate muscle video, which I will because I love that show. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of what I've become, I'm proud of what this channel has become. I'm proud. I am, I am definitely proud. I know it doesn't sound like it, but I am definitely proud. I'm proud of who I am now. I'm proud that I'm getting paid the money that I'm getting paid now. Now, not for this channel, but for um, my regular job. Yo, y'all just don't know. I've been, I've been working hard. I have. Which is why I haven't really had time to do stuff. You know, to post daily as much as I want. I've been real tired, but um, it paid off, y'all. I'll say that right now. It paid off. It just paid off, and I'm happy. So, yeah. Uh, this is going on Dragon Ball Sunday. Just wish everyone happy Dragon Ball Sunday. It will be a Dragon Ball video coming out right after this this video. So don't so don't don't, don't get upset, you guys. <laughs> The hatred for for people who like deep who like Dragon Ball is not affecting me. I assure you, there will still be Dragon Ball videos on this channel, regardless. So there's that. As such, I feel I think that's everything I wanted to say. Really, there wasn't really a lot I wanted to say. I just I I was just really reminiscing the fact that I, I I'm 31. I'm 31. I know people that haven't even made it that far. I'm not being disingenuous or negative, but I'm still here. There was a one point where I did not want to be here anymore, y'all. I'm gonna be straight. I'm gonna be straight up serious. There was a one point where I really did not want to be on this planet anymore. But that was back in 2010. This is 2022. It's a different me. And I'm proud. That's what I'm gonna say, I'm proud. I ain't mad that I have a small circle of friends now. Because back then I was trying to have everybody come in to, to, to my circle and everybody, you know, get to know me, know that I'm not a you know, a weird guy or a bad person or what people called me out to be. But I don't care anymore. It's not what I'm gonna do anymore. I'm not I'm not gonna tag people to indulge in things that I post because I want to have conversation because I'm lonely. That's not what this is anymore. I have friends that I literally talk to every goddamn day on call every goddamn day. I have that now. And I'm <laughs> I may not have a girlfriend, but I'll be damned if I say that I'm that if I'm not grateful. I may not have had what I initially wanted back then, but I'll be damned if I didn't say that this is worth that th that this wasn't worth it. Cuz it is worth it. 
every single bit of it. This has been Master of Sakurai. I want y'all to have a very good day. Because I'm about to have a very good day. I'm out.